Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Cecilia's Parish, and thank you for joining us this weekend. This Sunday we observe All Saints Day. The readings for today's Mass may be found in the Missalettes on page 179. Please be respectful to the Lord in our midst and those around you by turning off your cell phone or placing it in the vibration mode so that it is not a distraction to others. Thank you for your consideration. The intention for our Mass this afternoon is for Rose Tatum. Please stand and greet the Lord who gathers in our midst as he makes us one as the members of his body. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, everybody. Brothers and sisters, today we gather to celebrate the solemnity of all saints. Therefore, my dear friends, let us, at the beginning of our Holy Mass, acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he had found it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountains of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a review from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, 
that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the, are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> so my dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating with great joy, with great joy and happiness, the solemnity of all saints. And every year the church proclaims the same gospel, the gospel of the Beatitudes. Because, of course, 
Blessed are the saints. Happy are the saints. My dear friends, there's only one unhappiness. There is only one misery in this planet. It's the unhappiness of not being saint yet. And we were born to be happy. That does, that's the good news. So let us understand today, my dear friends, my dear, my dear friends, what happiness is. Something is happy when this thing reaches its ultimate purpose, the raison d'etre. Just a silly example, right? What's a happy knife? A happy knife, it's a knife that cuts, right? Uh, what's a happy cell phone? A happy cell phone, it's a phone that completes calls. Very simple, if it doesn't complete any calls, what is the phone for? So something is happy when it, it's able to achieve its purpose. So everything has a purpose. And what is our purpose? A very important question. What are we for? What have we come to do in this life? There are so many misunderstandings, unfortunately. People who are seeking their happiness in many places, in so many places, but they unfortunately seek happiness in the wrong places. They seek happiness in the ephemeral things, in things that pass, and they are not able to find it. When they look for happiness, for example, in food, that's my category. You want to be good, you want to be happy by eating so much, trying to find the best restaurant, and it's not there. Or you try to find happiness in booze, drinking too much. That's where you're trying to find happiness, and after a while, after you lose your whole family, your friends, you figure out that happiness is not there. Maybe you're trying to find happiness in sex or affection, fame, power. And we know, my dear friends, that happiness is not in any of that. If you're still looking for happiness in those things, like, let me tell you, you're not going to find it. It's not there. Where are we looking for happiness? Maybe you're looking for happiness in worse things than that, in revenge. For example, in cruel things, maybe drugs, in self-destruction. Again, where are we trying to find our happiness? It's always good, my dear friends, to remind ourselves we didn't come into this world for any of those things. We didn't come to this world for those fleeting and passing things, no. St. Augustine, one of my favorite saints and scholars and doctors of the church, he reminds us that we were made for God. That's our call. We were made for God, and our hearts are restless until they rest in God. We were made for God, and our hearts are restless until they rest in God. So we see, my dear friends, here that we came into this world to know God and to love Him. And we will get to know God fully and love Him perfectly, just in one place, that's in heaven. When we are fully and perfectly saints. So we are celebrating the feast, the solemnity of all saints, because we are celebrating, my dear friends, the fact that hundreds, I would just say millions and thousands of people, Thousands and millions of people, of human beings, have already achieved this happiness and they are already in heaven. That's what we are celebrating today. And we expect them to be quite numerous, right? And they are happy indeed. They possess a happiness that has no imperfection, a happiness that has no limitations or conditions. 
because they are able now, my dear friends, to see God face to face. They are able to see God, talk with God, and get to know God. And because they know Him, and because they see Him, they love Him perfectly. And they are now satisfied completely. Their hearts found the rest that they were looking throughout their whole lives. There's no restless heart in heaven. And what a joy to know that. That this anguish that we have will one day be over. That one day we will find true happiness. And that's the first thing we need to profess when we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. That happiness is real. It does exist. There is happiness. There is a place where happiness has no stain or limitation. We, unfortunately, who live in this world, we have a hard time believing in that. And that's the challenge. It's almost like someone who lives in a place where the sky is overcast by dark clouds and storms. It's so dark, it's so negative, it's so bad. Right? It's hard for them to believe that above those clouds, there is actually a sun that shines. A sun that is not even affected by the weather conditions. The sun keeps on shining. Therefore, my dear friends, if we are able to lift up our hearts in the midst of the storms of our lives to these brothers and sisters of ours who are in heaven, where they live without imperfections only with happiness our brothers and sisters in heaven together with the saints the angels our mother Mary even God in heaven they are not indifferent with the storms that we go through down here below on earth no? of course they are not affected by them they are already saved but they are so merciful so friendly and so good to us that from heaven where they leave they care for us and they send rays of light from heaven to our hearts those are the little consolations that we receive every day and we don't notice Jesus after all is par excellence the ray of light that entered the world, the Son of God, S-U-N, the Son of God who came to shine in our hearts. As the song of Zechariah in the Gospel of St. Luke says, Jesus is the rising sun who came to visit us. The people who walked in the darkness saw a great light. And what is this great light? It's the light of beatitude. It's the light of holiness. The light of happiness. So happiness, again, happiness is real. We need to profess this faith on this All Saints Day. Day. The happiness is real. And those friends of ours in heaven, fully happy in heaven, they bend, look at that, they bend over backwards with gestures of care and love. The saints, my dear friends, they send to us the graces we need every day so we don't get discouraged because they also want us to be there with them one day in heaven and arrive to that place where God happiness is. So happiness is real. We're not going to find in this world though. doesn't matter how hard you find. Happiness is real. It's not only something you find in a Hallmark movie or a Disney movie. It's real. And not only is real, but is awaiting for us. Look at that. It's waiting for us. It's a possibility. And God came into this world and died for us so we can arrive to that happiness one day. That's the celebration of the solemnity of all saints. That's what we are celebrating today. So when you come home 
from that horrible day that you're having when everything went wrong all the phone calls you answered were horrible news you know those days in any of those days I advise you to do the following come home and look at your statue of the Blessed Mother by the way if you don't have one it's about time okay every Catholic family should have a crucifix a statue of the Blessed Mother and a sacred heart if you don't have those things I, I you know I don't blame things going wrong for you but come home and look at the statue of our Blessed Mother and look attentively to her face can you even do that after Mass today and you'll be able to see my dear friends and to say she's happy she is happy she is in heaven and she is happy and when you say that believe that she's happy and that she is with the angels and saints of our personal devotion and believe that they also want you to be happy they are holy intercessors and they are trying to help us and they are trying to care for us more than we care for ourselves they want heaven for us and what do we do what do we need to do concretely All right. remember you came to this world to love to know God to be united with him in heaven one day we all were born to be happy so if you have too much suffering and misery in your life don't waste your time trying to find consolations and rewards in things that will not satisfy your heart remember we only find rest for our hearts in God so lift up your heart today look at heaven look at the happiness that God wants to give you Ask God the grace to know Him more and to love Him more and to serve Him because there's a wonderful happiness that awaits for us in heaven. Do not look for God where He's not. There's a huge heaven waiting for us and the good news is we're not alone. We have a multitude of friends, of saints, angels waiting for us and interceding for us and helping us to join them one day. What a joy, my dear friends. What a joy to celebrate today heaven's happiness. God bless you. Please stand. Together, my dear friends, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
My dear brothers and sisters, as we can be called children of God, we are invited now to call upon God as our Father and express our needs and the needs of the world. Please respond. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church, the communion of saints, that we may grow in holiness as we grow in faithfulness to the Beatitudes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for leaders of nations, that they may choose to be peacemakers, recognizing the image of God, even in their enemies, and encouraging the people they lead to do the same. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that they may sustain the battle for justice and goodness and not lose heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Sister Maureen Hickey from the Daughters of the Holy Spirit who entered into eternal life on October 19th after 61 years of commitment to God. For her peaceful rest at her journey's end, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Constanza Rorusian, Renda Matthews, Earl Halligan, and all those who have died recently. And at this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Rose Tatum. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all of our own personal intentions, which we reveal now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we trust that those who show mercy receive mercy in return. Help us to live like smart to live lives marked by mercy. Grant this and all the prayers we make today through your Son Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray now, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church is spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all of the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy today. We remember Rose Tata. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we who have pleased you through all the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
shall have their fill. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you, holy are you. Rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom. are they who show mercy, mercy shall be theirs. Blessed are they, the pure of heart, they shall see God. Rejoice! children of God. Blessed are they who suffer in faith. The glory of God is theirs. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming to perfect, to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. We have a couple of announcements, so I do ask your attention, please. A reminder that a candle lighting 
Memorial Mass will be held this Monday, November 2nd, at 5.30 p.m. for All Souls Day. In this week's bulletin, you will see a list of names of deceased that will be prayed for, and a candle will be lit for each of them. Please plan to join us. Starting this week, you will notice staging set up in the church where scraping and painting will be done in different stages. The process is estimated to take about two weeks. This weekend, after all Masses, you will have an opportunity to purchase hand-carved olive wood religious articles in the front vestibule of the church. Please consider purchasing something to help support the School of Joy for slow-learning children living in the Holy Land. Our first annual novena in honor of St. Cecilia is approaching quickly. Please take a bulletin home with you today to see the updated schedule of speakers and music. As a reminder, this Wednesday and every Wednesday at 7 p.m., the men of our parish are invited to a men's rosary group. Our numbers are growing every week, but we always have room for more. Please join us. Rosaries and copies of the prayers will be provided for any who need them. Um, so just a reminder again, my friend Maysum, she's from Bethlehem, she's waiting for you in the back there. It's a wonderful job that they do, so anything that you can spend to help all those Catholic Christian kids uh, suffering Bethlehem will help them uh, for sure. So please make sure you stop by. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a wonderful week, everybody. God bless you. God's likeness we